The challenges that face today's fire officers have never been greater. The fires we are responding to are faster moving and more intense than ever, thanks to low mass synthetics. Flashovers are happening faster, increasing the chance for firefighter injuries and deaths. Never has it been more important for responding firefighters to rapidly read fire situations and make quick tactical decisions to prevent flashovers and ultimately control building fires. This training program has been designed to introduce you to the reading smoke process and show you how to rapidly interpret the smoke issuing from a burning building so that you can make better tactical choices. The ability to read smoke is founded in three essential concepts. Let's start by looking at these three concepts. The first concept is simple. Smoke is fuel. Smoke is the product of incomplete combustion. Specifically, smoke is an aggregate of particulates, aerosols, and gases. Using our knowledge of building construction, especially lightweight structural components and gusset plates, the issuance of brown smoke from gable end vents, eaves, and floor seams become a warning sign that structural integrity is being lost. Remember also that engineered wood products like OSB, oriented strand board, or LVL, which is laminated veneer lumber, lose strength when heated. The glues of these products break down with heat and don't necessarily need flames to come apart. When watching smoke velocity, also look at its flow characteristic. Smoke can be laminar flow, which is straight line air current flow, or it can be turbulent. Turbulent smoke flow is caused by extreme heat and radiant heat feedback. This is the number one warning sign that a flashover is about to occur.